Hey, it's Hoz here, and today's video is all about troubleshooting the Font Awesome icons not displaying. That is, when you place the Font Awesome icon shortcode somewhere, let's say for example on your WordPress menu, and the icon just doesn't appear. So, I wasn't aware that this was actually an issue until Jonathan pointed it out in the comments. He mentioned that it wasn't working for him on his theme, so I had a quick look online and boom! turns out that this is actually quite a common problem and in fact there are thousands of results for this issue. Now the problem, well let's say the challenge, is that after delving a bit deeper into some of those uh, threads I saw that a lot of people had different answers and they don't always work. So this is what I've managed to do so far. And by the way, I think this is going to be an ongoing thing because I don't think, having read a few of those uh, threads online, I don't think that every solution is going to work for everybody. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a blog post on my blog. I'm going to put a link to that in the description under this video. And I'm just going to mention a couple of things that I've done so far in this video. But if neither of those work for you, then just click the link, head on over to the blog and I will continue to add solutions as I come across them. And on that note, if you do something and it does work for you, then please leave it in the comments. That way I can add it to the blog and credit that to you. And that way we can build up a resource and then if somebody is having an issue displaying the font awesome icons, they might be able to solve this with one of the solutions in there. Okay, so this is my blog and this is actually the live blog. This is not a copy of it. And you can't tell this, but I can. There is an icon missing there. Now, I tried to replicate this and eventually, and I, I have no idea how, um, I've managed to make one icon go away, but not the other two. So this one here and this one here are both font awesome icons. And here, this should be an icon, but it's gone. It's missing. <laughs> so this is the issue that some people are having. Now, when I looked online, I saw that some people having this very issue, only some icons are disappearing and others are showing. Then there are other people who are seeing squares instead of the icons. And then there's other people who just don't see any icons whatsoever. Okay, so we need to make this icon appear. And I want to show you something at the end of the video that I actually did and it solved this for me because the other things that I looked at so far didn't. Okay, so let me start by showing you one thing. If I click on the view source and I do a search for awesome, you'll see that there's a reference here to a style sheet, which is the font awesome style sheet. But here's what I want you to look at because this is the root of the issue. If you follow along the URL there, you'll see that it's actually referencing a style sheet that's hosted on MaxCDN's server, which is the Font Awesome style sheet, but it has a version number. It's 4.7.0. And I think that's the root of the issue because when I looked at some of the threads online, some people were providing this line to reference the style sheet and they were saying, check that this is on your header or add it but there was always a different version. And then I saw some threads where somebody would point out that after checking the source code of whoever was having an issue, they noticed that they were referencing a style sheet that was the wrong version. I think what's happening, reading between the lines, is that Font Awesome keep updating the system or the thing at their end, and some people are winding up with old or older style sheets and that's then causing a problem. So this is all a pain in the butt, of course. So the first thing that I did when I saw this was to search for a plugin because a plugin would hopefully integrate with Font Awesome's system and make sure that we're pulling in the right information or rather the up-to-date information. Now, it doesn't look like Font Awesome actually have an official plugin, but there are quite a few plugins. Okay, so if I search for Font Awesome, then you'll see that 
a few plugins come up and as I say I don't think that any of these are actually made by Font Awesome so I don't have any history on any of these plugins so I can't recommend one but I noticed that this one here Shortcodes Ultimate has uh, almost three quarters of a million installs so that could be one to look at and I see that a lot of them have the full five stars when it comes to reviews so if you're having an issue displaying font awesome icons this may be a solution now let's install this better font awesome just to try one plugin and I'm doing this on my live blog which is not always a good idea but let's see what happens okay so I've just installed that let me just refresh that and see if out of the box anything happens okay so no that icon hasn't shown up there okay so let's go and check out what the plugin actually does okay so this is the plugin itself now you'll notice here there is a version setting and if we set the drop down you see that it's set to always latest but you'll see all these other versions and this more or less verifies what I was saying before I think this is the actual issue in other words when font awesome update the end of things if we have a static line of code that references one style sheet a particular version then we're going to be out of date so I think for some people a plugin is going to be the way to go and obviously set to the latest this means that the plugin is going to check what the latest version is and it's going to pull in the latest version now I noticed this attempt to remove font awesome CSS and shortcodes added by other plugins and themes that could be a handy thing because the first problem I thought is that I already have a line in my header referencing a particular style sheet I think it was 4.7.0 which looking at this looks like it's the latest but I still have the issue where I've got one icon missing so you can see this is a, this is a bit of a rabbit hole and I'm not surprised that there were over 8 million results when I searched for font awesome icons not showing so this is why I think we can build a resource with different solutions that actually work because I don't think there is going to be one single thing that fixes everybody's problem okay so I'm about to show you what I did before that actually fixed this for me but I wanted to show you what I think the issue is that gives you an understanding of why it might not be working and also helps you if you're going to do some research yourself because it gives you a starting point and also the fact that there are some plugins out there that integrate font awesome with your blog or with your website and those may be worth testing I haven't tested them all of course I've just plugged in one but that's definitely worth a try if nothing else seems to be working for you now let me show you what I actually did uh, that actually worked for me I undid it of course just so I could show you but I just went back to font awesome and went to icons and I then searched for YouTube because that's the icon that I'm missing okay um, I can't actually remember what icon I had let's click on this one okay let's copy the code let me copy that to my clipboard and now let's go to the menu okay so here you can see the actual icon that isn't showing that's the font awesome uh, code there so what I'm going to do this I want to add a custom link I'm just going to make that here.com it doesn't have to be a real address I'm going to paste the new icon so that's going to be the last one there now and I'm going to save that let's go back to the blog and once that finishes loading let's refresh the browser and look <laughs> this makes no sense so now I have a YouTube icon even though I can't get this one that disappeared to come back I've just added one and it works so all I've got to do is just either replace this icon with the one that's missing or just delete the one that's missing altogether and just move this around in my menu and put it where I want it to go it makes no sense I know but it worked and that's all I care about at this point <laughs>
So as I say, this is just the tip of the iceberg. I think there are going to be a good dozen different things to try and do to solve people's problems, but at least I think this gives us a starting point. So the first thing I would do is go back to Font Awesome, go to the icon that you wanted or the one that's not displaying for you and just add a new custom link on your menu and just see if that appears. And on that note, if a particular icon doesn't show, let me just uh, go back one here. Okay, let me just search for YouTube again. You see there are three icons here. So I think in most cases there are going to be multiple icons. If one particular icon doesn't show, just try the shortcode for a different one, just to see what happens. As I say, it makes no sense that that icon should now be displaying, but what can you do? It's working. So I would try that solution first before adding a plugin. So we have two solutions to start with. The first one is to add the icon again manually. And the second one is to try one of the few plugins that are out there and see if that actually works for you. If none of those things work, then it's going to be a case of implementing different solutions that other people have talked about online. And as I said at the beginning, I will keep adding those to the blog post. So give us a thumbs up in the comments if that works for you, because that would be great to know. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and that way you can keep up to date with all these episodes. Take it easy and I shall catch you in the next video.